Hey guys, I appreciate you stopping by the channel. So today is a bit of a student appreciation video. We're gonna be going over a top five submissions from a challenge that we issued to our students pretty recently, or not so recently, it was in, in June. And this time around, it's a Webflow challenge. So students were tasked with rebuilding this website, not redesigning, rebuilding this website. It's a website called twigspaper.com. And yeah, we challenged them to rebuild this website in Webflow, of course. And the original, which you're looking at now, wasn't built in Webflow. And yeah, should be interesting. We'll look at the top five. They were promised to be featured on the YouTube channel. And we'll pick a winner as well. Should be fun. Let's go. All right, so before having a look at the actual submissions, the top five, let's look at the original, see what kind of challenges students may have run into, and also look at the responsiveness so that we can compare that to the responsiveness that the students made happen on their builds. Okay, so starting from the top, we've got the navigation and you hover over and you get this pretty little little drop down and when you hover over text, it italicizes. So that's pretty neat. Hero section is pretty simple. You've got these left aligned elements and this background image, a banner underneath. And here you've got these sort of oddly positioned circular photos. So, and they're animated as well. So that must've been interesting for the students to create. Underneath, you've got this carousel, which I'm not sure if students were told to actually make it functional. Underneath, we've got this section, pretty easy. This one as well, really easy. And then here, uh, the layout here is quite simple as well, but you've got this text here, which animates upon scroll. So keep that in mind. This section is quite simple as well. And then here, so here you've got a couple things going on with these images. So first of all, when you hover, they grow. So grow upon hover, and you've got a parallax effect happening as well. So images are, when you scroll, they move at different speeds. So take note of that. And finally, the footer, which is quite easy to make happen. So that's those are the challenges that I think students may have run into. Uh, otherwise, let's look at the actual website in mobile, just for responsiveness sake. Okay, so things stack, of course. And then the carousel goes from, I think it was three to four, three or four boxes in the viewport to two. So we'll keep that in mind, right? This was simple, things stack. This is a design mistake. You end up with one, one word per line for the text, which makes it annoying to read. So I'd probably have this have this be two columns, perhaps. Um, and also there's a horizontal scroll going on here, as you can tell. So that's also a bit annoying, but I should mention students were, the challenge is reproduce the website exactly or emulate the website exactly. So you'll see that some students actually uh, made it happen like this. They had four columns for this section, just like you're seeing here, but carrying on. Okay, so this was quite simple. We're missing a bit of margin here, but that's no biggie. I would have probably broken this down into maybe two set, two columns as well. And we've got the whole parallax thing going on, which I think these images are a little small, but otherwise, and of course we've got the footer at the bottom. Okay, so that's the original. Let's have a look at the uh, submissions. And of course, we're gonna be comparing, like I said earlier, I'm not sure if I did, two things, how close the build is to the original, visually that is, and the responsiveness. So let's go. Okay, so first up, we've got this build by Nancy Peng. Starting from the top, we've got the navigation. And I think visually, it looks great. Very similar to the original. The only thing is, the original is a hover. By the way, this is the original. I'll be switching back and forth. The original is a hover to see for the dropdown, whereas Nancy set it up where you have to click. But when you hover on the actual text, it italicizes on some of the elements. So there's that. Otherwise, the hero section, I think, looks fantastic. Quick comparison. Yes. We've got this section here, which is, I think, immaculately done. I'm wondering why they're not animating. Oh, there they are. Cool. All right. So they did animate. So we've got, seems like we've got a bit of an issue here with the carousel where they're stacking vertically. So we actually already picked a winner and it should be mentioned that when I saw, when I checked all of these builds, Nancy's at least had, this carousel was exactly like the one that you see in the original. So just keep that in mind. 
But yeah, something, something happened here because this is obviously not what it looks like on the original. So carrying on. All right, so this was, this is well done. And then this as well. We've got the text here, which animates on scroll. Yep, indeed it does. Cool. This hover animation is present. Awesome. And then we've got the parallax and the grow on hover. Perfectly done. Yeah, I think Nancy really nailed this one. Um, footer looks to be fantastic. Yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. Okay, let's have a look at the responsiveness. All right, so let's go, let's go mobile here. So things are stacking, well done. Let's actually, bam, all right, cool. Just to compare, right? So of course we've got this issue going on with the carousel, which is supposed to look like this, right? Two boxes in the viewport, but something happened. I don't know what it is, something happened. Otherwise, it's looking good. Nancy actually went ahead and fixed this issue, the four column issue that the original has here. So that's a design issue. And there's no horizontal scrolling, which you can actually see here in the, in the original. So that's good as well. Otherwise, everything is looking, everything is looking good. Uh, I'm seeing here that two images are circular for some reason, I'm not sure why. But otherwise, I think, yeah, the parallax effect is there and they grow when you hover. So that's good. So that's Nancy. Well done, Nancy. I'm honestly immaculate apart from the, the carousel, little bits and pieces here and there. Uh, otherwise, well done. Okay, next up, we've got Paraz Shah. Let's ju jump right into the actual preview here. And we'll make sure that this is in desktop as well. Cool, all right. So scrolling through, or actually let's check the navigation. I'm seeing that when you hover over the about, shop is underneath or it disappears or something happens because that's not supposed to happen. Otherwise, I think it was well uh, recreated. And the there's the italics when you hover, so that's cool. So there's an issue here with the carousel. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a more of a grid going on here. So that's obviously not supposed to happen. I'm not sure what happened here. So let's make note of that. This section looks to be good. Uh, yes, awesome. Cool, that's good. The text animates when you scroll. The layout here is good. And then you've got the parallax effect. The parallax effect, it looks good. Uh, I think it's probably the speeds are a little off compared to the original. So here we can have a look at the original just really quickly here. The speeds are a little off, but honestly, I'm nitpicking. You hover and you grow and it grows, so that's cool. Let's uh, check the responsiveness. So I'm noticing a bit of horizontal scrolling. Can you guys see that? It's a bit of horizontal scrolling going on. But otherwise, I mean, layout looks to be good. We've got that issue with the carousel where it's sort of a grid. And then that's good. Paraz actually went ahead and turned this four column into a single column, which I think this looks great as well. Though the one line of text looks a bit odd, I should say. And then this circular text is hiding under this section. So that's a bit of a, bit of a mistake there. Otherwise, I wonder why these are circular. I wonder why Paraz did that as well. Hmm, odd. Anyways, other than that, other than the carousel and, you know, some little mistakes here and there, like this layering mistake, I think it's fantastic. So well done, Paraz. Good on you, your Webflow master. Let's jump into the next person. Okay, so next up, we've got Hannah Mandakova. Interestingly, Hannah actually made sure to include this little banner here, the free shipping banner which you can see actually present on the original. So well done there. Otherwise, it's looking good. Are these, do these images animate? Do they? Yep, awesome, cool. We've got the carousel, which doesn't work, but I'm not sure if students were told to make it work. But the carousel so far is the closest 
to the original website. So well done there, Hannah. Okay, the section looks to be good, though the image seems to be a little bit large, just a tad and probably not centered. There's a bit of an issue here where the, or actually I'm not sure if it's an issue or just a different design choice. Yeah, I think Hannah made it so that this image moves on scroll and so you end up that you end up having this text not being layered over the corner of the image so that's what that looks different otherwise i think these sections are a little close right the um, this inspiration section and the explore our product section are kind of close but i'm nitpicking again here the circular text and the the, sep uh, the separation bar a little close here a little too close for comfort and the these images, so you've got the parallax going on, but the layout of the images isn't exactly on point, right? Like I feel like these these three images are a little too layered, like they're hiding too much of each other, right? Whereas you just want some slight layering, right? Like look at that. And, but they do grow on hover and there is the parallax going on, so still awesome. One thing I will point out is the footer here. So the footer, the, the logo is really, really giant which might look a little goofy. And yeah, the, 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 the footer, it doesn't end, the actual web page doesn't end at the footer. So watch out for that. As you can see here, there's a, there's a white bar here. So that it should end here. But anyway, those are the things, those are pros and cons. Otherwise, I think this is a fantastic build. So well done, Hannah. I applaud you. Let's get on to the next person. Okay, so next up, we've got Kaylee Flaherty. Starting at the... The navigation so yeah it seems to work it's a little bit buggy otherwise it does work it's not on hover as it is on the original but I still think it's well laid out and uh, well done so hero section is good banner do these circular images animate yes they do awesome a little slower than the original but they they do animate similarly so well done there Okay, so the carousel, this is pretty close, except, you know, the spacing between the actual elements here is a little off, I would say. Otherwise, it's the layout is there. Oh, interesting, interesting animation here. So it just sort of stretches, there's a sort of stretching animation going on here, which I'm not sure is the most aesthetic. Because the original, does the original even, yeah. So it's more of a mask in the original, right? As you can see. Either way, uh, well done. So this is good text. This circular text animates when you scroll. Good, awesome. And then we've got the parallax effect sort of going on here. I think we do. It grows when you when you hover. So that's that's good. Otherwise, the footer looks to be good and exactly the same. Let's have a look at the uh, the mobile version here. I'd be curious to see if this, this looks a little, this may look a little off. Yeah, I think it looks fine. Maybe some more space between, I feel like this, this these elements here should have taken advantage of this white space a little bit more. Otherwise, looks good here. This image is sort of out of position, whereas it should surround the text and the call to action a little bit more tightly. The call to action is a little far here which looks off. And then we've got all sorts of issues, I think, going on with the with the carousel. Not sure what happened to all the other elements. So that's um, to be noted. Kaylee decided to make the this section a one column instead of four. And otherwise, I think it all looks, it all checks out. I'm not sure about the parallax here. Again, there's a ton of layering going on where it just doesn't look as good but it's good regardless. Yeah, a little bit of padding could go a long way here for the footer. Things are just right up against the, the edges, which creates a bit of visual tension. Otherwise, well done, Kaylee. I think this is an awesome build. Just a couple issues here and there with the, uh, with the mobile version, uh, but otherwise, uh, fantastic job. Let's get on to the fifth person. Let's go. Okay, so lastly, we've got Francesco. Castro Nuovo. I think I got that. So starting at the top, 
I actually think Francesco nailed the... I think he's the only one who actually nailed the navigation fully. So well done. Well done on that. Awesome. Okay, I love, you'll love to see it. Okay. Uh, hero section looks good. Banner is good. These are awesome. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. Uh, this is... Obviously, this is off. I think there's there's four, I think four boxes that you see in the viewport, three, right? So there's that. This animates perfectly. These sections are quite simple, right? Does this animate on scroll? Is it just, okay, cool. Thought it was animating on its own. These sections are good. So I'm seeing a bit of an issue with the easing or something with the parallax here. So here, I'll show you. You scroll and you stop, right? It's a little bit, it's a little bit abrupt. Yeah, I think it's something, I think it has to do with the easing. And then when you hover, it grows, so that's that's good. And of course, the, the footer is, is easy and uh, well done. Let's jump into the actual uh, mobile version here. This section seems to be good. The images are surrounding. Oh, wow, that's crazy. So we've got the carousel, obviously something going on here. And these sections seem to be good. I'm not sure about one column. Now, you know, looking back, I think that, I think it was, I'm not sure if it was Nancy who went for two columns here in this section. I think that looks better than one. Otherwise, everything sort of checks out. Everything sort of checks out, man. This parallax effect is really good. Uh, honestly, <laughs> you know, as you guys can see, this was kind of tight. They all did really, really well. I think everyone sort of messed up a little bit on the carousel. Um, but like I said earlier, Nancy had it right originally when I did look at these builds at first, but something happened. But I bring up Nancy's name because Nancy's actually the winner of this challenge. So congrats, Nancy. Um, you get an Amazon gift card, but everyone else gets a prize as well. So congratulations, everyone. Thank you to everyone who submitted. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope there was some, some sort of takeaway. And yeah, take it easy. Peace.